It's time for Ryan's Roses. Uh, let's get to the Ryan's Roses as a public service. Now, I'm actually very enthusiastic about doing something like this because I get it. You, you, don't, you don't want to have buyer's remorse. And you don't want to know where you stand. Mm-hmm. And if we can help out in any way, then that's kind of what this is. So the deal says here, Dear Ryan and Sissy, my boyfriend of five years is making me move in with him. It's a big deal, she says, because we're not getting engaged yet, which is going to be a problem for my parents. Mm. Uh, I uh, would have been a problem for my parents, too. Mine, too. But I can't you cannot live your happiness and your future for your parents. No, but it's fine. Okay, I actually think it's important to spend living time with somebody before you get married. Michael and I got engaged and then he moved Mm -hmm. in seven months before we got married. So you knew you had an out. There was no out. Yeah. If you don't. People change when you live with them. If you let's forget us Whatever. and stay to this. All right. He <laughs> says we will get engaged someday, but my fear is that I will go out on a limb and disappoint my parents and get hurt in the process. That I understand. Mm. I do not think he's cheating, which makes this awkward, but I think if he does send me the roses, both my parents and I will feel better about me moving in with him. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, so of course he's going to send them to I her. I know I said this is what roses is designed for. I'm not so sure anymore, but I want to help because it's a sweet thought. Yeah. So why is everyone so bah humbug? I think he's going to send them to her. I think so too. So let's, Elena, thank you for calling and thank you, by the way, for your email. Oh my God, of course, Ryan. Thank you so much for having me on. Of course, of course. So we we know the story. We we get the conventionalism with your parents yeah, and we understand that you want peace of mind. Are you... F- absolutely sure there's no thought of another person like this is not about that i mean i re- no. like there's no indication he's cheating or anything that's why it's kind of like weird and awkward and like i i just think it's, i don't know but like my parents i i ran this by them i was like listen like if i call ryan and you know and like you know, said, have him send roses and stuff and do this can you will you guys like be cool with it like they love your show so this is like this will make them feel better. I feel like kind of awkward about it all because I'm like, I know he's not cheating. Like, I know it. I know he's not. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're going to call. Let's hope your parents hear all of this yeah. and everything is okay. Uh, hang on one second. We'll come back and do it. Okay. Thank you. So this is a different one, but I think it's a helpful one. She is with her boyfriend of five years and they're moving in together. And he's not proposed. He's stalled in the proposal. Her parents are not going to approve of them living together without the proposal. But she wants to have as much peace of mind as she can. She doesn't think that he's cheating. But if the roses go to her, she feels like it'll cause peace in the family. So we're we're going to try and help out. And this is happening in Glendale. Elena on the line. All right, Elena, here's what we're going to do. Uh, you have not, have you physically moved in yet? I haven't yet. No, no. He just asked me and like, you know, we're, we're getting in motion. I'm like figuring out like my stuff, what I'm going to sell, what I'm going to take, all that stuff. And yeah, no, not, not like haven't done it, done it yet. Okay, we're we're gonna, thinking in the next week. We're going to try and help out and call him. So I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then whatever his name is on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. All right, here we go. Sisney's doing it. You'll be on the line. Be very oh, quiet God. until we okay. tell him. I know. Everyone feels that way. Until we tell him that he's on the air, and then we can all talk, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, let me you. ask you a question. I just yeah. thought of this. What? If he sends the roses to you, do you want us to hang up or oh. tell him what's going on? I, uh, oh gosh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like pretend like, okay, great. Thanks. Okay, we'll do that. Like, yeah, maybe just like a quick kind of like, great. We got it. Thanks. Uh, we'll call you back with, for the address or something. I don't know. Something I know. It's, okay. That's okay. Just, then just kind of like a board. Right, we'll get out. We'll get out. Shh. Good luck. Hello? Hi. Is this Adrian? Uh, th- this is him. Hi, Adrian. My name is Gracie. I'm calling from the Fancy Florist. We're actually brand new in Glendale. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm actually calling because we're doing a, uh, an offering for all local residents right now that you can send flowers. They're absolutely free to anybody that you'd like today, and they'll get them by lunchtime. You said absolutely free? 
absolutely free. It's actually a dozen red roses. We can change the color if you'd like, but they're usually red. I don't need cash, billing info, credit card info, anything like that. Just the name of the person you want to send the roses to. And then we can put a note and we can have them delivered by lunchtime today or if tomorrow's better, whatever is more convenient. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. I was gonna, I was gonna put a, a like a nickname, but can I send you like the, the regular name? But I was gonna on the on the flowers. I wanted like a nickname. Yeah, we unfortunately can't do nicknames for the actual delivery portion of it. But for the note, I can put the nickname. <laughs> for the note. For the note. For yeah. The note. Okay. So, well, what's the real name first? Uh, it's Patricia. Trisha. Okay, and then what would be I'm the sorry, nickname? Hello, hello. Wait, what happened? Adrian, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to know that and understand that we have your girlfriend Elena on the phone. Who is oh. Trisha? Who the hell is Trisha? Huh? What, what's what's going on right now? Everything is okay. Just tell us who the woman is, Trisha. <sighs> Adrian, uh. speak up. Who's Trisha, idiot? Who the hell is Trisha? She's a girl. She's a, she's... She's, a, she's a girl? Oh, my God. I can't believe you. I was literally going to move in with you and my parents. They're like, oh, my God, is he is he going to be the one? And you're here, like, sending roses to some other girl? Who the hell? What is going on? I, I, really, I don't know what's going on right now. What, what, what's happening? No, what's Adrian, this? what's happening is this. Your girlfriend of five years is expecting a proposal. She's moving in with you because she thinks you're going to be married. She's concerned that her family isn't going to approve of you living together. Now she's upset and concerned because she thinks you're cheating on her with a woman named Trisha. What's going on? I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Elena, I'm, I'm sorry. I... Sorry, that's all you got to say? Who the hell is Trisha? What are you doing? Who is this person? She, she's, a, she's another girl I've been seeing. Another girl you've been seeing? You've been going out with me for five years? What do you mean you've been seeing somebody else? Oh, my God. I can't believe you five years, five years down the drain like this, five years. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Sorry. I, <laughs> oh, my God. You are? Are you laughing? Was that a chuckle? It's a, it's a nervous reaction. I don't know what's happening right now. This is this is this is unbelievable. Oh, you just got busted. That's what happened right now, Adrian. You just got busted. Okay, I can't believe that we've been dating for five years and you have been seeing somebody else, and then you asked me to move in with you. What? What's the point? Why did you have? Me, why did you even ask me that, Adrian? How long have you been seeing Trisha? Probably about five years. You gotta be kidding me. Is there anybody else at this point? No, no, no. It's just, it's just you two. Well, no, Adrian, I, 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 I Elena, I understand your fury, oh my God. and oh my you God. should feel that, Adrian. <sighs> I, what is going through your head to think that that <sighs> is a respect? appropriate okay thing to do and then in, you're inviting Elena to move in with you where do you think this is going to end I I uh I thought I, I guess I thought I could I could uh do two things at one time I wow. I uh I, I was um, going to have her move in and I was going to ask uh Trisha to, to marry me what I'm confused what are you oh talking about how are you going to Rage, you're not even making sense. You're going to ask Elena to move in with you and marry another woman? How are you going to do that? Oh, my God. Trisha, Trisha had her own place. I was going to live there as well. Why are you telling me this? <sighs> you're... Well, I mean, I might as well. It's out and open. Yeah. You're, not yeah. a norm, you're not normal, and you're, wow. you're not a good person, man. No. You're a psychopath, okay? You're a psychopath, and I cannot believe you. And you know what? I'm burning all your clothes. Like, don't even come and pick up any of your crap at my house. It's no, all no, gone. Sorry. It's all I gone. I want you to find out this way. This is... Well, what, what, what? Which way did you want her to find out? Well, I just, I just wanted to break it to her in private, not not on the radio. This is this is insane. I don't. I, oh my god! I don't this is insane. Wow. Is exact. Does Trisha know about Elena? No. Oh, my God. All right, nope, listen, listening. Elena, you're right. We should get off the phone right now. And you, th hey, Elena, 
I don't know if you're religious or not, but I would look up and thank whomever or whatever you pray to. I know. Because you did not move in with this guy. You did not get engaged to this guy. You did not marry this guy. And you did not have a kid with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is that's a good way to look at it, Ryan. I mm. really appreciate it. I can't. I just. I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Like I'm just in shock right now. I'm so mad. I'm sure, you are. I'm in shock with you. All wow. Right. We are hanging up on Adrian. He's gone. Uh, okay. And Elena, I'm so sorry. You should. You are right to feel everything you're feeling right now. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Oh my God. I can't believe like this happened. I just. I didn't expect this. So I appreciate you so much. Thank you. You take care. You're the best. Okay. We love you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. bye bye. Bye. So bad for her. Oh, I I I do, but I'm I know so grateful. Yes, I'm so grateful. Catch twenty two. How can here's wow. the thing? How can a guy be that insane and you not know it? That's even scarier. Oh. Uh, I I I worry that a human being can be that crazy, and you don't see it. Yeah. When does that start? Does that start when you're a child? Does that start when you're a teenager? Like, it has to, I mean, yeah. Adrian was asking her, Elena, to move in, and he was going to allegedly propose while he was going to marry the other girl. Like, He's going to live two of, lives. How? I don't understand the detail of There's that. There's crazies out there that do that, apparently. But how do you live with one woman, and then you're married to another? It doesn't make... I don't get it. Maybe he, maybe he's just not right. Of course he's not right. But I'm not not right, not right. I mean, like, I think he's got some issues. Yeah. More than just relationship issues. Like screws are wrong. loose. Something's wrong there. Patty, I see your hand. We're gonna come back. This is crazy. There's nothing. There, there's no explanation at all. It's just poor treatment of human beings. So this guy is is. Well, he's saying he's going to marry Adrian. He's going to propose. Five years they've been dating. Mm -hmm. He says, move in with me. Turns out he sends the roses to Trisha, who he's been dating for five years, who he says he's going to marry. So he's going to try and lead a double life. Now, it's crazy, but we have had people who have lived through situations where they found out that their spouse had double lives and kids with other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the same time. Not at different chapters. At the same time. So, Patty, what did you want to say? I saw you earlier. Well, one word, monster. Okay. And I think I understand what he is doing. I think he reached a point where he couldn't handle this anymore, so he had to do something very drastic with both women. He asked one to move in with him and the other one to marry him. Out of panic. Yeah, out of panic. And it's so drastic that the bubble is going to burst. And he he knew it. Like, he, he had nowhere else to run. And that's what he's doing. Okay. I don't. I, I. I mean, we could sit here and go in circles. I don't believe this deserves an explanation. Well, he did say he wanted to break the news to her eventually, so he did want this to end. At some I point. mean, in desperation, he said yeah. that on the air. But I almost don't want the twins to hear this. Yeah, I'll cover their ears. I can't. You know, I should, we should keep ourselves stomach. calm because we don't need it. I wonder though if he had a conversation with either one of them saying, like, we're exclusive. I know, like, five years is a long time, but what if they never had the conversation? Oh, that, that's not possible. No. I don't think so. I don't think no. so. Not if they're about to move in with I, each other. I, I love your hopefulness, but not right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no hopeful in this. Um, Macy, are you with us? I am. So, go ahead. You're on. What's your view? I honestly think that her parents, like, could tell us something was off. I don't know if they knew that. It was to this extent, but I think her parents like knew what was going on, and that's why they weren't being supportive, and why you know they were like encouraging her to wait for the engagement before she did something like move in with him. And I think they could just tell. They could. They they, they yeah. sensed it. They couldn't put their finger on what, but they knew something was was off. That's and a they're fair right. point. Yeah, you have to be like a sociopath to be able to like live a double life like that. Do you ever meet someone and you really look them in the eyes? Okay. And you feel like okay. There's a crazy in that eye. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Right? Like you see the window into their soul and you say to yourself, I think there's a crazy I in usually that. try to stay far away from those people. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> you have a fear in your life. Parents can tell. Well, I just think that like you see and you don't know and you, you then you think you're crazy for thinking someone's crazy. Do you know what I mean? You just Yeah. You, you it's not hindsight 2020. Oh, preach. But in the moment, you doubt yourself in situations, and she's like, well, my parents are being so protective, but they're right. They saw the crazy. All right. Thanks, Macy. Thank you.
appreciate it. I love that name, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, bye. It's a good name. All right, let's get to Jen. So Elena, and this all ended up in the best way possible. She's found out the truth in this relationship. Elena, dating this guy for five years. He says, please move in with me before, you know, we're going to get married. I'm going to propose. Her parents say there's a red flag here. She starts to get ready to do it. We call him. He sends the roses to Trisha, whom he's been dating for five years, whom he told us on the phone he's getting married to, Mm -hmm. while he's trying to get Elena to move in with him. Mm. It's not even worth the energy to try and explain. So Jen is on the phone. I mean, you know what? I, I tell you, we said this earlier. What's scary is how do we not recognize that in people? Yeah. Like you let someone in and you love them and you're their best friend for five years and you want them to marry you. Yeah. Then you find out they're freaking psycho. <laughs> love is blind. I don't know what that means, actually. Mm-hmm. Love is blind that you're, it's, you're just so infatuated with the... Sometimes you're so infatuated with the idea of the relationship when in reality, it's not even like that at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So love is blind is bad. Yeah, I think so. I've always been one to ask that question. Mm-hmm. All right. Because I always think love is blind. Oh, sounds romantic. No. You can love anything and anyone. No, it means like you love somebody and they're not loving you the way back you think It's actually a double entendre. You can use it both ways. Okay, Miss Tati. Well, stand by. <laughs> <laughs> Call me maybe. Carly Rae Jepsen. All right, Jen, good morning. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Well, we're just swimming in double entendre this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... This guy, what is your view? It's not even worth explaining, but go ahead. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's I mean, all we blind. need. Sociopathic. He may be sociopathic, but he's definitely not smart. What was he going to crawl out the bedroom window in the middle of the well, night? That's the thing. With his wife? Like, yeah, let's. How let's, is he going to do that? Okay, Jen, let's suspend disbelief and assume he pulled it off. He's married to Trisha and he's living with Elena. Mm-hmm. How? Like, how do you show yourself in either place? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, it, it, he just sounds not only crazy, but just really, really dumb. And she dodged a crazy, Oof. crazy bullet. Oof. Oh, all right. Well, Jen, no. thank you for calling. That's the upside. She I've, did dodge a bullet. Well, I yeah, think, you guys really helped her out. Thank God for you guys. Thanks for calling. Well, <laughs> that's maybe too too much double on Tanya. All right. <laughs> double on Tanya. Okay, Thanks for calling. <laughs> All right. Bye. I think this is one that we should keep our finger on and follow up in like a month or two. Because Why? She you think she's going to go back? You know what? She went nuts. I know, but I'm telling you, it's that thing where like some people just fear being alone more than being with crazy. No way. No way. Not I don't in know. This she's case. burning his clothes right now as we speak. Yeah, but she heard the Iggy Azalea story. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> she heard that sister report. I mean, everybody's talking about that sister report. I just think that. It's frightening to think you let someone in like that. You love them. You think you're going to marry them, and they're doing that to you. That's what. But you're the 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 thing on is that the master script was she was supposed to find out before she got married. Yeah, she and knew so it. So now she's got to move on. Wow. But we'll keep our finger on it. Okay, thank you. We got. Uh, I mean, we, li- listening to it again no, just makes I can't. me so I know, mad. I know I can't. We 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 went in circles about it. What's most? Fr- I guess the ble- let's just go with what's the blessing. She's out. Yeah. She's True. out. 